Hi, Karen Duncan, an independent health policy researcher. Uh, you talked a great deal about cost and uh, to a certain extent about access, but uh, I want to ask you a quality question. Would you comment on the adequacy of medical education given the intellectual and professional demands that, uh, that accountable care, for example, makes on physicians? I'm not sure that's a quality question so much as a medical education question. And I actually, uh, and I appreciate the question because uh, I have written a little bit uh, but I uh, uh, will begin writing a lot more about uh, the fact that we have to change the medical education system for the uh, next century, I believe. Uh, we are clearly not educating our uh, medical students, I think, uh, for the coming uh, way they're going to practice. Uh, we need to do a lot better training in terms of teams. Uh, the practice is going to evolve to, as I mentioned, not just single doctors, but you're going to work on a team. That's a different dynamic than the way we've been trained. Uh, and probably we need to do something different in medical school. I don't know whether it's co-educate with nurses and pharmacists and others. I think that would probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, second, one of the things we're going to have to have is a lot more management training of doctors. Now, I know that's an anathema. That business school over there, you know, and the medical school, they don't get together. And I know that certainly through my training, we look down upon them. But let's be serious. How we build teams. Really, it's not just you didn't learn that in the womb. You have to learn certain things about it. Negotiation, we're constantly negotiating with patients, with nurses, with fellow doctors, with hospitals. We need training in that. How to use data to improve care. How to run Lots of small experiments in improvement. Get the information on whether it works or not and change. Rapid cycle improvement. We need training on that. Finances. We need some training on that. Leadership. Again, most doctors aren't born with it. I think there's a whole series of those things that we need to incorporate in medical school. And I have long suggestions about lots of things we should get out of medical school. And I think uh, uh, I'm not abashed to say that most of the first two years of my medical school I found, um, if not completely worthless, close. pretty close, right. <laughs> you know, it's not clear to me that I ever used the Krebs cycle uh, <laughs> in medical school or the Starling Law. So I think, I think, you know, if you don't want to reduce the first two years to nothing, you can certainly reduce it to a year. Duke has shown that. Um, that saves you a lot of time to do other things uh, and I think easily within the four years and I would actually say even within three years we could get what we need to. But I do think that's going to have to change and it's going to have to change a lot more rapidly than it has changed in the last hundred years. We'll go to the back here. The school